Hello. Today I want to show you how multi-axis machining works in Camors. In Camors we have only one cycle with a lot of options. Of course the cycle is uh, called uh, multi-axis machining. So when you want to machine uh, a multi-axis, you can machine when you can use a multi-axis uh, machine cycle for three axes, for four, and of course for five axes. In uh, multi-axis machining, you have in Camworks only one feature, multi-surface feature, where uh, you can choose all the faces of the part and then apply this multi-axis cycle. So, I for this for this uh, video I choose a turbine blade. It's uh, for it's a turbine for a rotor blade. Okay. I define a four axis machine. This uh, blade profile will be machined in four axis. I choose a four axis machine. A proper post processor, of course. A coordinate system. And of course, when you, you choose a four axis machine, you need to define the rotary and uh, for five axis machine, the tilt axis. Okay, this part I have uh, some uh, parts where I machine in three axis. Uh, I rough this area and this one again rotate with 180 degrees roughing contouring then for the all these sides of the root i machine using 2.5 axis cycles and then i created this mill part setup for with a multi-axis mill so this is the cycle for multi-axis in cameras as you can see you have a lot of tabs a lot of options besides tool feeds and speeds i have the probably the main option in cameras two method milling or drilling uh, in cameras the new version of cameras you can uh, use uh, this software with a proper post processor for five axis drilling and for milling, we, you have all these all these pla uh, patterns, slice, cuts across curve, flow line between curves, offset from curve, curve projection, flow line between surfaces, offset from surfaces, direction, limits, of course, a lot of options for entry and retract, links. Gauge checking, advanced posting statistics, and the, another important option is the axis control. Because when you machine in four, in four or five axes, you need to tell your cameras uh, how should uh, the tool axis will be, how should the tool or tool axis uh, must be computed. So for the tool axis, you need to define the number of axes. I told you um, these uh, options, these patterns of this uh, strategy you can use also for three axis. Cutting direction, these options. So for in my case, I use uh, um, a ball nose with 12 diameter pattern slice spiral with 2.5 millimeter step over and then this is a cycle and then only for this area it's a special area for this blade I use another cycle with uh, the same pattern but uh, a different step over a smaller one uh, and then for this area I use the same cycle so let's simulate okay I will try to move faster so 
as a roughing in three axis area clearance contouring again for the other side area clearance contouring contouring of the all the faces of the root of the blade and then the four axis um, cycle As you can see, all the toolpaths are in a big spiral. Uh, you have no retracts. You have a continuous toolpath along the, the blade profile. This is very important. Of course, this is part is not uh, completely done. I have to work more to finish some very specific parts. Uh, areas, sorry, of the of the blade, but mainly I want to show you four axis machining in cameras, and uh, in another video I will show you five axis or five axis uh, part. Another great option, of course, in cameras is this uh, multi axis machining because um, you have only one cycle. Of, from where you can control all the things you want when you machine in multi-axis like axis control, lead in, links, leads, uh, lead in, lead out, patterns of course, step overs and so on. Okay, I won't. I will let this uh, cycle. I will let this uh, tool path uh, finish, and then I will show the other two multi axis cycles in a step through tool path simulation. So Of course, if you have any question, please feel free to leave a question in my YouTube channel or my LinkedIn profile. I will be more, I will be happy to answer all your questions. So the same pattern in four axes. Of course, please take a look at the at the, at the tool pad in real machining. Uh, the tool will will be will not be tilted like this. The part will be rotated, of course. Like this. Okay, so this is Camos for axis machining. Until the next time, thank you and uh, bye bye.